Welcome back to the No Closer YouTube channel. Forbes just dropped the news, and the little girl from Barbados is now the richest musician in the world. But how the singer became the richest female musician on the planet? Hint, it wasn't from performing. When Robin Fenty, known to the world as Rihanna, launched Fenty Beauty in 2017, she sought to create a cosmetics company that made women everywhere feel included. A perhaps unintended consequence, the beauty line has helped her enter one of the world's most exclusive ranks, the billionaire, joining the gang of Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates. Miss Fenty is now worth $1.7 billion, Forbes estimates, making her the wealthiest female musician in the world and second only to Oprah Winfrey as the richest female entertainer. But it's not her music that's made her so wealthy. The bulk of her fortune, an estimated $1.4 billion, comes from the value of Fenty Beauty, of which Forbes can now confirm she owns 50%. Much of the rest lies in her stake in her lingerie company, Savage X Fenty, worth an estimated $270 million, and her earnings from her career as a chart-topping musician and actress. While the work singer isn't the only celebrity to capitalize on her social media presence, she has 103 million followers on Instagram and 102.7 million on Twitter. To build a beauty brand, she is the most successful beauty entrepreneur to do so. Fenty Beauty, which is a 50-50 joint venture with French luxury goods conglomerate LVMH, run by Bernard Arnault, the world's second richest person, launched in 2017 with the goal of inclusivity. Its products come in a diverse range of colors. The foundation is offered in 50 shades, including harder to find darker shades for women of color and are modeled in its advertising by an equally diverse group of people. Available online and at Sephora stores, which are also owned by LVMH, the products were an instant success. By 2018, its first full calendar year, the line was bringing in more than $550 million in annual revenues, according to LVMH, beating out other celebrity-founded brands like Kylie Jenner's Kylie Cosmetics, Kim Kardashian West, KKW Beauty, and Jessica Alba's Honest Company. While cosmetic sales slowed during the pandemic, beauty companies are worth as much as ever. Stocks of larger beauty conglomerates like Estee Lauder and El Oriel have bounced back, reaching all-time highs and trading at impressive 7.5 or more times annual revenues. Meanwhile, independent brands like Beauty Counter and Charlotte Tilbury Inc. deals with investment firms earlier this year at billion-dollar valuations. That is good news for the Grammy-winning artist. Thanks to the impressive multiples at which beauty companies are trading, Fenty Beauty is worth a conservative $2.8 billion, Forbes estimates, and all signs point to the company continuing to grow. In its annual report for 2020, LVMH said Fenty Skin, which launched last year, was off to a very promising start and generated unprecedented buzz, and that Fenty Beauty maintained its appeal as a premier makeup brand. Fenty Beauty isn't Rihanna's only billion-dollar brand. In February, her lingerie line called Savage X Fenty raised $115 million in funding at a $1 billion valuation. The company, which launched in 2018 as a joint venture with textile fashion group, counts blue chip investors like Jay-Z's Marcy Venture Partners and private equity firm Catterton Partners, in which Bernard Arnault is an investor of shareholders. Rihanna maintains a 30% ownership stake. Forbes estimates. The latest round of funding will reportedly be used for customer acquisition and retail expansion. Not that everything Rihanna touches turns to gold. In February, LVMH and Rihanna confirmed in a statement to Forbes that they had shut down their other venture, a high-end fashion and accessories house also called Fenty. Launched in 2019, Fenty sought to extend Rihanna's brand of inclusivity and offer styles in a range of sizes. But like many luxury fashion brands, the high price line suffered during the pandemic, releasing its last collection in November 2020. The only complaint some fans may have about her career as a fashion and beauty mogul, it keeps her busy. The singer, who used to release an album almost every year, hasn't released a new album since 2016's Anti. From a financial perspective, that may be just fine. Even if you don't like her music, She's created a real style in the fashion and beauty space. She really did something and changed the game. Thanks for watching. With her new Fenty line called Fenty Perfume coming soon, we hope that her wallet will not stop growing. 
because she deserves it. Sign of life of a new company, but unfortunately no sign of life of a next musical discovery. However so awaited, it seems that R9 is not for now. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the No Closer YouTube channel for more content of this type.